The last thing that is uh, included in this is something that when I do SAT prep classes, um, I try to emphasize because many of the, the questions on SATs that are considered extremely difficult uh, can be answered very easily by thinking of unit analysis or what used to be called or what I know it easier as unit conversion. Okay, and so there's a handful of problems that you're going to be asked here to convert from one unit into another. Okay, so it might be in the form of a story problem. Okay, so you might see a question that looks like this. Uh, you work for three hours at a rate of 460 per hour. How much do you earn? Okay, so again, hopefully this is a type of question that you could answer pretty easily. Okay, but I do want to show you how the unit conversions and analysis come into play here, and then we'll kind of talk about it. All right, so if you start with um, the number of hours that you're working, okay, you guys did a lot of this. When, when do you guys take chemistry? Is it junior year? Sophomore year? Senior year? Junior year? Okay. So um, you guys will be using this uh, very in-depth when you get into something called stoichiometry. Okay. Yeah, that's a scary word. But uh, what you do is you take an initial setting and then you convert basically out of this setting into like number of molecules or something like that. It's a it seems like a complicated process, but if you break it down into just converting from one unit to the other, it winds up being really easy. Okay, now, in this case, we, if we start with three hours and we want to convert out of hours, we have this conversion factor, $4.60 per hour. So that is a fraction form. Okay, it, it allows you to make a conversion. And so if we want to convert out of hours, in order for hours to cancel, do in this 460 per hour, does hours need to be in the denominator or numerator? Denominator. So if you say that for every one hour, the equivalent is $4.60, you can cancel your like or your common factors that cancel out, and you're left with your answer that would be in terms of uh, the dollar form. And if you want, you can use your calculator, uh, 3 times 460. And you get 13.8 in dollar form would be your answer. Okay, anytime you're submitting answers online, don't don't use any units. Okay, hopefully or normally I'll try to have units available. It'll say in terms of dollars to the nearest cent or something. Hey, okay, don't write uh, your unit on those. All right, so that's one form of unit conversion that you might see. The other form that you might see is one where it'll just specifically tell you um, convert 50 miles per hour into feet per second. Okay, so now this one is just a straight convert. It. You need to know uh, what matches with what. So how many feet are there in a, in a mile? How many seconds are there in an hour? And so if you're approaching a problem like this, the way that you would set it up and approach it is just take what you start with. So in this case, 50 miles per hour, but write it as a fraction. So 50 miles per one hour. Okay, and then just work through. You want to convert out of miles and into feet. So if we put miles on the denominator, how many feet are equivalent to one mile? Does anybody know offhand? 5280, right? So there's 500 or 5280 feet per 1 mile. So now the miles cancel. I have my units in terms of feet per hour, but I don't want hour, I want seconds. So let's convert out of hours. Well, since hours is in the denominator, 1 hour is equivalent to Now, do you know necessarily and you can probably calculate it, but do you know necessarily how many seconds per hour? Some of you might, but what what even simpler? So even simpler than that, though, if you need to go step by step. 
you can convert from minutes first, so the hours cancel, and then one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. So again, if you weren't sure that it was 3,600, you could just do 60 twice. So now you have feet per second, and you have your solution, right? Okay, there's an easier way. Okay, so this is the hand way for those of you who uh, want the traditional style. Okay, if you want to use your calculators okay, and you understand how it works, this winds up being much easier. Because what we can do with our calculator is the calculator will convert for you. Okay, so here's the way that you would enter this on your calculator. So if you take what you start with, so I'm going to start with 50. And then I need to identify miles per hour. So your calculator has a unit. So if you look here under the second function and then three, it has this key, this little catalog for units. And it has different types, lengths, volumes, times. So miles is a length, right? So I'm going to highlight my length, and I'm going to scroll to the right. And as I scroll down, I see centimeters, feet, kilometers, inches. I keep going. There's meters. MI is miles. Okay, so I'm going to choose miles. Notice it has that underscore and then the MI. That's miles. If you understand that, you can even use a short, you can shortcut and just type that directly in. But this is miles per. What does the word per indicate? Divide. So divided by. And then I'm going to put hour. So I can do the same thing. Go to second, three. Now, hour is in terms of time, so I'm going to go highlight my time. Starts at day, move down to hour. So this is my, my way to enter. So if I'm entering on my calculator, I have 50 underscore MI miles per divided by underscore HR hours. Okay, now, you have to tell the calculator what you want it to convert to. So you want it to convert to feet per second. The conversion symbol looks like this. It's a triangle on its side. Okay. It's located right here. It's second function mode. Okay. So if you then hit second mode, oops, I'm sorry, that's a lock. Second, second mode gives you the little sideways triangle that tells you convert to, and then you want to convert to feet per second. So you can either if you saw what the conversion was, you can use it, or you can go back in, go down to uh, length, choose feet, FT, divided by, and you want seconds, so second three, go down to time, convert to seconds. Again, once you're familiar with what the coding is, so just convert into underscore feet, per underscore second, which is just an S, and we hit enter, we get our solution, and it's 73.333, and it gives you the units feet per second. I'll usually specify a decimal to round to. If you ever have a question or doubt on that, just ask me and I'll come by and let you know and make sure it's very clear. All right, so what I want you to do is see if you can uh, convert from 60 pints into gallons. Did you guys get an answer? 7.5, good. Okay, so if you take 60, go to oops, your units. It's a volume now, so we're going to go into uh, volumes. Choose pints, it's this uh, underscore PT. So you can either type that or access it, and you're going to convert that. So second mode, convert into gallons. So underneath that units conversion, choose volume. We'll take gallons, hit enter, and you get 7.5 gallons. Yeah. All right. So it's up to you. You can find conversions. Uh, uh, the one thing you may not be, even though you can type it into Google and just write the word 60 pints into gallons and it'll give you the answer, you may not be uh, able to access a Google or the uh, Wolfram Alpha stuff during a quiz or a test. So do make sure that you can use your calculator for these, please.